Welcome back everyone, I'm the Crypto Fiend and today we are going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to purchase cryptocurrencies with your credit card and debit card on the Binance Exchange. Yes, this is a feature we have all been asking for for such a long time and Binance has finally launched this platform. So I could not be more excited and today we are going to be showing you guys how to use this platform yourself. Now before we jump into anything else, I want to say thank you to all you Crypto Fiends for supporting the channel and if you guys do find this video informative i would greatly appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up it, it helps boost the video uh, to be shared by more people down the road and overall help adoption of cryptocurrencies we're going to be diving right into things today and not wasting any more of your time so this is the binance exchange i'm sure the majority of you are familiar with it but if you are new to binance i highly suggest you go over and watch my how-to video uh, on how to navigate the binance exchange all that sort of stuff i will leave it linked down below um, but this is the video for purchasing with your credit card and debit card on this platform. So if you are a new user to Binance, you're going to press register, fill out the basic info and get yourself logged in. I will be leaving a link in the description to sign up to Binance. It is a referral link. If you use that link, it will not cost you anything, but you will be supporting the channel and it is always, always appreciated. So if you are already a part of the Binance community, you're going to hit log in, fill out your info and get yourself logged into your account. Once you're logged into your account, this is what you're going to see. You're gonna have all the markets down here and the news up here. As you guys can see on this right side, you can rotate between different uh, news topics, but we are looking at this beautiful tab right here, credit card payments on Binance. You're gonna go ahead and click that and this is going to pop up. You're gonna have some info down here about why credit cards. Fast, average of 10 to 30 minutes for crypto to reach your wallet. Low fees, only 3.5% per transaction or 10 USD, whichever is higher. And convenient, Visa and MasterCard accepted. So you can purchase Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin on this platform. Um, I highly suggest if you guys are planning on just purchasing altcoins, just stick with Bitcoin and then go over to the market and buy whatever altcoin you want and you're good to go so I'm gonna do $50 for the recording of this video um, and then that is the Bitcoin I am going to be receiving onto my account so I'm gonna go ahead and press buy now and then we get this disclaimer talking about how we are leaving binance.com to go to simplex.com so uh, this is all going to be running off of simplex.com they are a partner directly with Binance so Binance is not necessarily going to directly be doing the transaction so go ahead and make the payment. Now we do have to fill out some information. I know we hate to do it. We hate to put in our personal info and do KYC, but we got to do it. So uh, first off, you're going to fill out all this info and then we'll, we will be going on to step two. All right, so once you go ahead and put in all that info, they are going to ask you to confirm your cell phone number as well as your email address. Once you do that, this is the page you are going to see. First name on credit card, last name, etc. Put in your credit card info and go ahead to pay now. So once you go ahead and put all that in and press pay now, this is the page you are going to see your ID, please. You do have to send in, uh, post a picture in with your identification, the front and back of your driver's license, your ID card, etc., and then fill out all this information. So once you finish putting in your verification information, uh, it will take a couple minutes to process that info and then your process, your transaction will be confirmed and you will get a thank you page. Once all of that happens, come back over to the homepage of Binance and you can go up to your funds tab and your balances. This is where you'll be able to view your actual Bitcoin, Ethereum or Litecoin that you just purchased. It should show up right here in one of these three tabs and then if you want to go over and purchase other alternative coins whether that be cardano ripple etc you can simply go up to this exchange tab and go to basic or advanced and then this is where you can choose which market you want to go into so if we want to be in the bitcoin market we would press bitcoin here and then say for example i wanted to go to cardano which is ada so make sure you know your ticker symbols go to ada 
and they also list out the name here cardano and if you want to purchase at this current price of three and eight tenths of a cent you can go ahead and do so uh, you can put in the amount of cardano you want to purchase and simply press buy and you will be all ready to go uh, once your order is processed you can go back to the funds tab balances and then you will be able to see your cardano in that tab so that's a little extra step if you want to purchase other cryptocurrencies other than that just bitcoin ethereum and litecoin that you just purchased uh of, off of the other platform so that's really all there is to it guys it's very simple to the point i really like how they created a step-by-step -step process it's not too uh techy not advanced or anything like that any beginner can go through the process and do this now also i think this is going to be huge comp Competition for platforms like Coinbase. As of right now, Coinbase is the number one on ramp for cryptocurrencies, and Binance is the number one exchange for all other alternative coins. Uh, now that Binance has everything that Coinbase has, you really don't need to use Coinbase that much when you can just use Binance and have all of your uh, credit card payments uh, directly sent into your funds tab, and then you're all good to go. So let me know down below what you guys think about this. Uh, a whole little system this little setup if you like it if you don't like it all of that sort of stuff and if you did enjoy the video don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button for quality cryptocurrency content in the future thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you in the next Woo!